Now this illustration here is still dealing with wall receptacle outlets. Here we're looking at sections 210.52A1 as an apple through A3 as an apple. Now again, visual walking through the door opening to the right. Notice there's plugs within six foot of that door opening. And even the space behind the door counts. Some electricians say, well, you open the door, we got to measure from there. No, you measure from the opening. And then every 12 foot you can see there, we have receptacles. Now we could even have an extra receptacle put there for that TV if we wanted to, see? But the TV in any arrangement that you set that TV, you're within six foot of a plug if you don't provide an individual outlet to it. Now, uh, the TV in my uh, den area and kitchen area uh, combination, we have a receptacle just for my TV. So most uh, dwelling units today have that. But we're just looking at the minimum. Now notice we have uh, 12 foot intervals all the way around that wall to where any place you set any piece of equipment, you're within six foot of a plug. But now we're six foot from the, his closet there. We're six foot from that plug, just like when we entered the door to the bottom of the right, we had a plug on each side within six foot. If the wall between his closet and her closet is two foot or more, you need a plug there. So you gotta know that as an electrician. You've got to anticipate when everything is finished, is that opening gonna have two foot or more? And experience a lot of times will tell you this. Now again, we're placing uh, a receptacle within uh, uh, six foot, and then it's 12 foot again. But you always must have a receptacle located within six foot. Now notice we uh, uh, have a receptacle that they've put there uh, for some reason, but you could just have the door opening to the first receptacle at six foot, but instead of that, you know, uh, there's two put there. Would that be permissible? Sure. And a member, we can have as many outlets as we want as long as we do not exceed the square uh, foot area that we talked about, a 600 square foot for a 15 amp circuit or 800 square foot for a 20 uh, uh, amp circuit. And then notice a receptacle in the floor near the wall and it's within 18 inches, not two foot, but 18 inches from the wall as you see there. And then that receptacle could also serve as a wall outlet. So this illustration 10 dot uh, dash nine, excuse me, figure 10 dash nine is just basically showing the layout of a room uh, with a number of receptacle outlets required based upon the condition of use of that room and the uh, construction aspects of that room.